Good evening. My name is Dave Blanchett. And tonight, the fourth question for this week at St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Honolulu, you know, the Christian formation session, is what do you dream? What do you dream? As a recap, the first three questions were, what do you love? What have you lost? And where do you hurt? Today, the fourth question is what do you dream? When I first heard and thought about the question, I said to myself, how am I going to answer that question in a truthful, personal, and reflective way? For a long while now, I have never remembered my dreams. Though I do daydream, in fact a lot now, dreams in my sleep, like I used to dream and remember, I just don't remember now. However, four days after being asked that question, what do you dream, I had and remembered a vivid dream. I was opening and managing a, an Olympic-sized pool in a place there was no, where there was none around. Everyone was invited, welcome, and they did come. They were joyous and happy and talkative. They came as they were and accepted by me and everyone around freely and eagerly. Short, mm -hmm. tall, skinny, not so skinny, health issues or not, red, yellow, black, brown, and white. Mm -hmm. Swimming attire was one piece, two piece, skimpy, and some had almost clothes, uh, attire that almost clothes all, cover all their body, their whole body. People being who they are and sharing their them. And the most beautiful thing about it is in the pool, in the water, I see it as a symbol of baptism, meaning there was no clumping. In today's heartbreak, in a sea of people, you would expect the blacks at this end and the whites at that end. And, 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 and the Asians would be over, over here and the other racial groups would be over there. And within those groups, those racial groupings, there is further division, a separation or a segregation of male and female. Not in my dreams. No, no. In my dreams, in the pool, in the scene, is a mixed multitude, a sea of race and sex so scattered, it's as if someone has taken a giant spoon and stirred this mixture of flesh so that they were totally united, truly enjoying each other's presence. Wow. Wow. You know, Jesus said, Father, may they all be one as you and I are one. I can see it. Unity without uniformity. Diversity without division. Practicing dialogue free of dictation. In unity, letting people be who they are. Let, letting people retain their gifts of culture. Letting people use and share their unique gifts that God has given to the world, given to the church through them. No such thing as checking your culture at the door. No such thing as checking your identity at the door. 
God desires that all will be blessed and God desires that all will be saved. He says, come as you are. My dream is everyone is doing his or her part to make it so. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bless Thank you. God for this day. He guides me all the way. His love is true, and he loves.